Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Oddly Adventures. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Tyler, and we're in the shop today, so you know we got a project for you. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome to this new video series I'm going to be starting on the renovation and renewal of my Sunfish sailboat. Um, it's actually not a Sunfish sailboat. Sunfish are 14 foot, uh, single manned, beach launchable sailing dinghies. Um, they were originally made back in the 1950s and started off with wood, which transitioned into fiberglass hulls. Um, the boat I actually picked up is a knockoff version. Due to the popularity of the Sunfish and easy rigging, it led to a numerous number of knockoff versions. So let's go upstairs and we'll check it out. Alright, so now we're up here in the garage. Uh, the boat you can see behind me is the boat I picked up. It's the 14 foot sailing dinghy known as the Goldfish. Um, some differences between this and the Sunfish is, um, as you can see, the splash guard is not a bolt-on version. It's actually incorporated into the fiberglass. And as I'll show you later on, the tub is actually not separate from the boat as well. It is also incorporated in the fiberglass. This gives this boat a little bit of an advantage over the Sunfish, making it a little bit stronger. So I found this boat on Craigslist about a week ago and picked it up for just $350, including the trailer. So it was a steal. Let's take a look at the condition of it. Overall, the boat's in great shape. So here's a shot of the gel coat up close. It's got a lot of these spider cracks in it all the way around. Um, I think from what I've read, I think I can sand this down and repaint the whole thing and that should take care of it. So there's a spot there uh, where the mast inserts in. Um, it's got a little bit of a chip in the gel coat which I'll repair. Again, just some general chipping around in the gel coat. The only major damage I found um, is this looks like a scrape or a chunk missing out of the starboard side of the hull. However, it seems to be intact and should be an easy fiberglass repair. So the hull of the boat also appears to be in great shape. Uh, there's no dings, nicks, or anything, and even spider cracking in here. Um, I'll still probably end up sanding it all down and repainting it. Alright, so here's the dagger board. It appears to be in good shape. Um, has a couple small cracks in it that I think I'll fill in with some epoxy. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, sand it down and re-varnish it. And here's a shot of the tiller and rudder. Uh, both again seem to be in pretty good shape. The rudder has a couple cracks in it, but hopefully I can um, fill those in with epoxy and keep them from getting any worse. Alright, so here's the sail. Um, as you can tell, almost everything is identical as a sunfish. Um, the only couple things differ is the splash card, the tub, and just the logo on the sail, really. Um, everything else is pretty much identical. Um, also, as you can tell, um, the small rip there in the sail looks like it's been patched before. Um, don't really know much about that, so I'll have to look into that, whether that can be repatched, or I'll have to get a whole new sail. Other than that, the sail's in really good shape, though. Um, doesn't seem to have uh, any dry rotting or anything else, any other tears or nicks in it. Um, so I'm really pleased with that. Alright guys, so we're back down here in the shop. As you can tell, i got a lot of work ahead of me. The boat's in pretty good structural sound shape, but um, it's got a lot of cosmetic work that needs to be done. Um, the next video coming out is probably going to be about the trailer. It's starting to get cold here, and I want to get that done before it gets too cold for me to work outside. Um, this is my first time going through this process, so it's going to be a learning experience for me, and I hope to share that with you guys. If you have any uh, advice for me, put that in the comments below, or have any questions about uh, what I'm doing, put that in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.